deep breath. This is where we get into more interesting details about how software is developed. All right, this is this is the meat. Okay, here we go. All right, the software development life cycle. Another way to call it, a shorter way, is the SDLC. So I'm going to refer to it a lot as the SDLC. The SDLC is the process by which a product or changes to or change to an existing product goes through to be developed. Okay, it's a process. The software development life cycle is a process. And whether software is just being changed or upgraded or it's being newly developed, it will always go through this process. This process consists of six primary phases, starting from planning and ending on deploy which is deployment. Deployment is, is when it goes out to the business. It goes gets installed. It, it uh, goes out to the intended audience or intended users. Here it is. Here are the six stages in a very colorful pie looking thing with, with lots of arrows my little drawing okay we're gonna go through each of these phases to understand it from a high level because in order to understand and be successful at testing you must understand the different phases that software goes through to be developed all right so let's take a look at each phase. That's what we're, what we're going to be doing. We're going to take a look at each phase of this software development life cycle to understand the goals and activities. We're going to start with the very first one which is planning. Planning, 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 planning. Everything starts with a plan you guys from when you're starting a business to building a house it always starts with a plan. If you're not starting with a plan, it's going to be hard to be successful. Planning, just like in the, just like in software, planning is the first step. Okay, planning. This typically planning is the first phase of any project. During planning, the project manager will be brought on board and the project manager will develop what's called the project plan. Those of you who are not familiar with these these resources, project manager, the project manager in IT is responsible for managing the entire project uh, for the business and their job is to make sure the project is managed on time and within budget. Okay, so in the very beginning of a project, we bring in that project manager. It's like the like a foreman on a job, or you know, here's he's the director. Uh, he's you know the person who's going to sit down and and ha has to list out all of the tasks, all of the activities and tasks that are going to have to be done in order for this project to be successful. You know, when you're creating like a business plan, um, we have to sit down, we have to think about all of the things that we need to do from the very, very beginning all the way to when we go live and, and we turn our business on and open the front door, right? Same thing here. If the project manager is brought on board, the project manager sits down, they develop the overall project plan. Okay, project plan Again, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this, a project plan, you can look at it like a spreadsheet that lists out all the activities that have to be done by every different resource on the project. Uh, each activity will have a start date, a 
target start date, a target end date, and how long it's going to take. So, last bullet, a project plan contains all the activities and tasks that must be completed in support of the project from development to testing to defining the requirements to everything is contained in this project plan. All right. I'm going to keep going through because we're going to kind of go back a little bit too. Very first phase, planning. We need a plan. So, now that we have a plan or somewhat of a plan, you know, they don't do they you know, do they finish the entire project plan? in planning probably not you know they probably get you know as much as they can done I mean that's a lot of stuff to plan out right the project plan gets added to you know it, it gets tweaked as we go through but most of the plan is there most of the activities are there so now that we have a project plan for what activities and tasks need to be done by whom and when I also didn't mention that you know, on that spreadsheet, it, it also has who is responsible for each of those tasks and activities. So it lists out all the tasks and activities, the target start date, target end date, and who's responsible, and how long is it going to take. 